Mask Hygiene by Vishali Tekar, Jaspreet Kaur, Karen Hira, Austin Schaefer. Types of masks, surgical, N95, and cloth. Surgical and N95. Please don't use these because they are meant for healthcare workers. Medical masks and N95 respirators should not be used because they should be conserved for healthcare workers. Cloth masks. Most effective fabrics are tightly woven fabrics, cotton or cotton blends, breathable two or three layers. Least effective fabrics, loosely woven fabrics, loose knit fabrics, difficult to breathe through, single layers. Guidelines, non-medical disposable masks should be used. Masks made with tightly woven fabrics, fabrics that do not let light pass through when held up to a light source should be worn. Masks made from loosely woven fabric or that are knitted fabrics that let light pass through should not be used. Masks that fit properly, snugly around the nose and chin with no large gaps around the sides of the face should be used. Masks that do not fit properly, large gaps, too loose or too tight should not be used. Masks made with breathable fabric such as cotton should be used. Masks made out of materials that are hard to breathe through such as plastic or leather should not be used. Masks should be made with two to three layers. Masks with one layer should not be used. Masks with the inner filter pockets may be used. Masks with exhalation valves or vents should not be used. Other types of face protection. CDC does not recommend using face shields. Choose a face shield that wraps around the sides of your face and extends below your chin or a hooded face shield. Wash your hands before and after removing the face shield. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth when removing it. Clean and disinfect reusable face shields. For example, people who interact with those who are deaf or hearing impaired may find that a face shield is better than a mask while communicating. If you use a disposable face shield, wear it once and throw it away according to the manufacturer's instructions. Putting it on, how to wear a mask properly. Wash your hands before wearing a mask with sanitizer or soap and water. Step two, make sure colored side is facing out. Having a colored side and a non-colored side, two layer or three layer mask is helpful to know what side should be in, touching your face and out open to the environment. Step three, hold loops of mask and put over ears. Step four, pinch nose piece to fit nose bridge. Most masks come with a metallic strip that fits to the shape of your nose. Step five, pull mask from bottom to below chin. Stretch the mask to make sure it covers your chin. Step six is hand hygiene. Taking the mask off. 
Step one, hand hygiene with sanitizer or soap and water. Step two, only grab the mask from the ear loops. Step three, do not touch the outside because it is potentially contaminated. Step four, fold the mask in half um, so the outside is on itself. Step five, store it away or throw away if disposable in a hazard tin. Step six, hand hygiene with sanitizer or soap and water. How to not wear a mask. The escape hatch, do not cut an opening for your mouth to breathe or to eat or drink, then there is no point in wearing a mask if it is not protecting your nose and your mouth from contaminated air or infected uh, particles around you. Do not wear your mask as an earring hanging on one ear. Do not wear your mask as the sniffer. It needs to cover your nose and mouth. Do not wear your mask as the sash. Do not wear your mask as the nose plug. Do not wear your mask around your neck as a neck beard. When to wear masks. When social distancing measures are difficult to maintain, such as staying six feet away from others. When to avoid others not wearing a mask. When you are out in public. When you are sick and interacting with others at home. When you are caring for someone who is sick at home and when you are not 100% sure that others around you will be negative, such as out in public settings. CDC recommends wearing a mask when dining in a restaurant, except when actively eating or drinking. Do not wear a mask when doing activities that may get your mask wet, such as swimming at the beach or pool. Wet mask will make it difficult to breathe and may not work well when wet. If you are able to wear a mask during high intensity activities such as working out, choose a location with greater ventilation and air exchange, so outdoors versus indoors. Remove your mask if it gets moist from sweat and replace with a clean mask. Storage. Carefully fold masks where outside is touching self. Clean, sealable paper bag or breathable container. When reusing, make sure to keep the same side facing out. That is possible and easier to maintain if you use two colors for your mask. Your inner material is different than your outer material, so that way you do not forget what side is your outside. When to wash your mask. Wet or dirty from sweat, saliva, makeup, or other liquids and substances, or daily, if disposable, then throw away after wearing once. Wash your mask after a day's use. The virus could live up to seven days on cotton. How to wash and dry your masks. Use the washing machine with regular laundry or by hand with tap water and laundry detergent or soap. Rinse thoroughly and remove the detergent or soap. Then dry using the dryer in a warm or hot dryer. You may also air dry by hanging it in the sunlight until completely dry.
A common myth floating around is wearing a mask will raise the CO2 level in your body. That is a myth according to cdc.gov and it does not cause you to retain CO2. A cloth mask does not provide an airtight fit across the face. The CO2 completely escapes into the air through and around the sides of the cloth mask when you breathe or talk. CO2 is small enough to easily pass through any cloth mask material. In contrast, the virus that causes COVID-19 is much larger than CO2, so it cannot pass as easily through a properly designed and properly worn cloth mask over your nose and under your chin and snug to your face. Hi, today we're going to talk about mask hygiene. We're going to show you how to put the mask on and take it off. So the first step to putting your mask on is to perform hand hygiene. You're going to want to wash your hands with soap and water or use some hand sanitizer. Then you're going to take your mask out and grab it by the ear loops. You're going to put it over and around your ears. Make sure it's up over your nose and down under your chin and you want to pinch the nose. And now it's on. And to take the mask off, you wash your hands, soap and water or hand sanitizer. So perform the hand hygiene. Grab it only by the ear loops, remove the mask, and then fold it in on itself with the outside touching itself, so hot dog fold. And then store it in a clean area, any paper bag, or anything that you know would be clean. Put it away, and then perform hand hygiene again with either hand sanitizer or soap and water. So your mask is off. So do's with masks, wear them in public areas where you know that you will possibly come in contact with someone that's infected, or you can't be 100% sure. And throw it away when it's soiled. So if you have cloth masks, make sure to wash them if they're soiled, if they're wet. And also another thing for those is if you have glasses and they fog up, you can either buy an anti-fog spray or a trick that I learned was and possibly could work is washing them with soap and letting them air dry. Do not wash the soap off. And the film should be able to prevent your uh, glasses from fogging. Don'ts with the mask is don't touch the outside of the mask. That could be potentially contaminated. And wear the mask, uh, don't wear the mask on the forehead, chin, or below the nose. So we'll demonstrate. So don't wear it like this on the forehead. Don't wear it below the chin. And don't wear it below the nose. Make sure your nose is always covered and all the way down below your chin. And that's how to keep mask hygiene.